Oh boy. I think the stomach, my stomach is going to be the end of me. All right. Um, we can try and get the electric elemental again. Yep. I will lemon you with the lemons. Oh, the, the uh, air elemental reappears. How, how nice. But I don't need you anymore, ele air elemental. Be free. Go yonder and blow up women's skirts. Okay, I am going... Yeah, okay. So if I'm going there, then I need to take this route. There we go. A drink of water that isn't killing me. Nice. How much lemon did you put in the first one? Not much, just a slice. Wow. Of course, I've been, like, real bad with my... Uh, over the weekend with my... thingy. So my... nothing but spicy foods? Pretty much. Hey! There it hey. is. There you are. The boy has been waiting for us. Come to Papa. Cautiously step forward with the silver ore, blah, 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 blah. Now your hair stands on end. As all wizards should have. In a flash, the lightning elemental escapes from the orb. Your hair literally stands on end. Very nice, uh, uh, Doom Lad. As the creature <laughs> winks into nothingness. The hair on your arm rises as the lightning elemental snaps into existence, crackling just off the edge of the castle wall. What? So that didn't work. What? Am I going crazy? Why didn't that work? Weird. Let's try it the other way. Let's try using the staff on the ore. It does the same thing. Dang. Okay. Okay, okay. Have we already used the lightning elemental for something? No. No, it's, it's about the only elemental we haven't used. In fact, it is the only elemental we haven't used. Huh. We don't have a Herodric cube to put together, so... Nice. <clears throat> no, we don't. So, <clears throat> we had to solve a puzzle to get this thing. How to fuse. Silver orb to banish below the staff of ages of drink. So, joining the two, the golden thorn, the last to invoke the pl platinum horn. We have everything we need. Weird. Hairy lemons are just unripe peaches. Yep. That's uh, true. What? What? No, it's no, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> what if we invoke the platinum horror and then try and put them together? Where is the platinum horn? Right there. Oof. Oh, yeah, I'm looking right at it. I don't know, man. That, that doesn't seem right. Yeah. I feel like if I was going to do something, it might have done a little bit more. Um, hmm. Okay, well, let's do the crystal puzzle. Alright, let's see. We need let's a black crystal. Lead to... 
We need a black oh, yeah. crystal. We know where to get one. But we don't know how to get it out without breaking it. Um, you either use a dagger, the sword, or maybe a pry bar. I'm telling you, it's got to be that easy. Well, hang on. Let's go ahead and save here where I can uh, come back if I need to. If hitting it with a hammer breaks it. Just out of curiosity, how many turns have I got done? 923. All right. It's been a while since I've seen this cave. Uh, I know I at least have to go through. Okay, good. The gremlins don't come back. Yeah. Or not gremlins, the thingies. Well, they know not to mess with you now. Maybe it's the next room. Ranger's weakness is pineapple pizza. Hey, it's DC. Where in voice are you from? What? What? Where are you in voice from? Oh, she's wanting to join us. Uh, it would take some untangling. Because I purposefully didn't do this on the Discord so that people wouldn't jump in without knowing what we're actually playing. <laughs> Oh, hey, these have some glowing black things. This is it. Translucent black crystal sticks out from the cave floor. Uh, hard geometric itch. This is the black crystal. Take any of these. Attempt to take the crystal, but no avail. What about this one? No avail. Use the dagger. We've, have we used the dagger and sword? Uh, I will. I'm just worried because last time I used one, it broke. Well, use the hammer. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we hit it with a hammer and it broke. All right, all right. Let's try using the dagger on this bright one here. Tip the hack away the crystal, but the weapon proves unsuitable for the task. What about using a sword? Uh, hack away, but the weapon seems unsuitable for the task. All right, fuck it. Let's, let's use the hammer. No, 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 no. Use the hammer. <laughs> Maybe use the hammer just a little bit. You strike the crystal with the hammer, breaking into a thousand tiny pieces. Are, are any of those pieces you knew useful? that was gonna happen. <laughs> There's no way to take the tunnel. Damn. Grim smells of elderberries. What? What? Yes, he does. What do, what do elderberries it, smell like? The thing is, the thing is, they need to listen to the guy who smashes. All right, I smash, and that's what I do. And whenever I say don't smash, you shouldn't oh. smash. I know. I always know when to smash. Try the butter knife. No, try a rod. Where are you going? Hang on, hang. Because there's <laughs> one, there's one over here that's slightly loose. A cylinder of black crystal jets from the cave floor. I think there's one that's slightly loose here. Did I just break the only loose one? Over there one? to your right. No, the loose one was the one you smashed. No, it wasn't. Good job. Well, no, I mean, a couple of games ago, the loose one was the one that you smashed. Well, I got two more. This one appears to be you. Loose. Take it. You attempt to take the crystal but to no avail. Yep. Um, you think using a rod? Let me quick save real quick. <laughs> no, not that thing. No, not the poker? Why not the poker? What you use? Try the oh, poker. no, hey, that worked. Poker. Yep. I jimmied the poker into the crack and pried the black crystal free. Be bending not down. Not what I would have done, track. but... <laughs> can't, can't argue with results. Now we have a pattern. The rod. I've already written down the pattern from the uh, the throne room for this one, so yep. now we just need to go back to that one place. 
Which means backtracking a little. Well, have we been there in this saved game or not? Darn it. Um... In the crystal room? Yeah. I don't believe we have. It wasn't the blue ones. Oh, here it is. Because it was next to the gong. This goes up to the catacombs. So it goes here. Okay. I think I know where I am. I will give it a try. So, okay. Back up to this cave and then take a right. I wonder if it's going to turn out in the yep. end that uh, we are like the child of the original Shadowgate guy, or grandchild. <laughs> <laughs> nah. Okay, am I going crazy? I thought this was it. Oh man. I don't remember. Me either. Oh, hey, there's a little... I just realized there's a thing right here. Google is telling me about pizza right now. So you said pizza in front of the wiretap, and now it's trying to advertise you pizza. I guess so. I don't have the heart to shut him up. He seems really interested. Okay, here we are again. One, two, three, four, five, six. So, okay. Let's that is start. the correct number. So red crystals on the bottom. Yeah, I don't know what that means either, but, like, I can't do anything about it. There's gold in these caves! Gold! Well, Yorick, you just need to be patient. We don't get out alive, we don't get to spend the gold. Your mouth is flapping, but all I hear is gold! I think you could just offer Yorick a golden shower if he wants some gold right now. Hmm. There we go. You hand the mushroom to Yorick. He opens wide and consumes the fungal treat with a smacking sound. Not sure how you knew I was craving mushrooms, but thank you all the same. Well. Okay, so three blue. Here. Oh, shoot. Here. Hi, cat. And here. One white. Right here. Uh, cat, you're sitting. That's correct. You are sitting on my clue. Cat, cat. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. The black is above and to the left. Okay. <laughs> yeah, our cat's just sitting nicely on the floor being combed. It's a good cat. I don't have a good cat. Carefully place the black cut crystal into the shot slot. Okay, now what? That is the correct order. Uh, do we need to do spell? Uh, no. Rainbow bridge. Try the rainbow bridge spell. Uh, I think it's. Let me look at this one. Is it this one? Yeah, this is the one. Of 
Close your eyes and concentrate and let out a spell with a whisper chrysalis. The air at the edge of the chasm coalesces into a beam of light that reaches across the chasm and to the other side, creating a bridge that spans the depths below. Yep. Let's see what's over here. I kind of like the light bridge and the dig a bit better than that, but that's just me. <clears throat> hmm. You close your eyes and raise one foot above the chasm, takes a leap of faith, and you breathe a sigh of relief as you step onto the light. Moving across the magical bridge to the other side. You cock your head and nothing... Nothing and... What? Noting an almost imperceptible hum running through this chamber. The sound is just loud enough to see your teeth on... Set your teeth on edge. Let's open this bag first. Nice. I got Let's something. We got another thing. It's on 60 hertz hum. We got a meat. We got... We got gold? What? <clears throat> Solid gold ingot is quite heavy. It would surely be... Bring a great price. <laughs> well, hey, you're the hero of Shadowgate. You aren't going to need to hawk it to some thieves. Yeah, we're we're in a line of kings. So semi-opaque gem, beset with thin blue veins. Rough cut gem appears to be a ruby. It must be worth a fortune. Key shaped in the form of a human bone. It's literally a skeleton yep. key. All right, uh, Doomland, you want this one? Sure. The handwriting is in a language that you do not understand. However, one word is repeated over and over as if a warning. Tylomir. Isn't that the uh, the guy who's raising the behemoth? It could be. Um, I don't remember his name. Eggs the size of, of a dwarf litter the sandy floor. You hate to run into the thing that laid these. The egg is covered with hundreds of small shiny scales. These are dragon yeah. eggs. We're going to have some nice scrambled eggs, that's for sure. And you're not careful, you're going to have some nice scrambled hero. Shake your head, hoping to clear this maze of caves of seems to never end. Truth be told, you wonder if you are lost. Glow from the crystals casts a sickly glow through the tunnel. Oh, hello. That's something I didn't expect to see today. Oh. Yeah, I know, I see it. Imbued with the ancient symbol of the stone skull, some 30 hands high has been carved from solid rock. Five stalagmites arranged in what looks like fingers appear to be ready to crush whoever is foolish enough to approach the spectacle. Well, I mean, we gotta cast uh, Evoke on this thing. Oh, yeah. Yep. Telomir is a drug... It's for erectile dysfunction. Erectile malfunction, sorry. And mal mana deficiency. Erectile malfunction, not dysfunction. Lately, I've been peeing beams of light. All right, it's cutscene time, boys. You feel good, so you will, and blah, 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 blah. How's that go? The time is at hand, is it not? If you are wise, you know the way into the chamber beyond. What is there, I cannot know, but... Perhaps you do. For you are beyond what you were. Beyond what I dreamt of. Yes. Surely more than a simple soldier. I pray you have come prepared. That you have listened to the words of the prophet. Five to find. Three are one. One gives access, the bladed sun, the silver orb to banish below, the staff of ages to vanquish the foe, joining to the golden thorn, the last to invoke the platinum horn. The three pieces of the staff must be joined to make that which was unmade. But this 
cannot be done without an empowerment to bind them together. An empowerment not unlike the capturing of elementals. An empowerment that requires a great sacrifice. Now, let us be done with it. Oh. Do we need to sacrifice a Yorick elemental? We have to sacrifice a Lakmir elemental. Ah. Earn the messenger achievement. Now let us be done with it. So, shit. All right. Uh, we need to clear the orb. So, I guess electricity was a red herring? Yeah. Okay. I mean, if they had to touch something potently magical, I could still see electricity, but it would be, uh... Gotta Jonas, catch you've done all. previously. Oh, yeah, you gotta oh. catch them all. <laughs> You must sacrifice a testicle too. I don't know. The royal bloodline kind of depends on those. As you've done previously with the elementals, you hold the orb up, pu pulling the essence of Lakmir inside. A pulsating green glow infuses the orb. Congratulations, you've earned the gotta catch them all achievement. Fucking hell. <laughs> that is, that is funny. Sad but funny. As soon as you combine the silver orb with the golden staff, the golden thorn and the staff, a wave of power joyfully courses through your body. You've created the legendary staff of ages. So, which I oh oh. So that one right there is from the game. That's not the type of ta talisman we have this time. No, nope, the bladed sun still fits in there. Flap it in. And it the thing said which one it goes into. Which one? What? Who but said? Didn't it? What what thing? Didn't didn't the parchment say which one of the uh, fingers the bladed sun goes into? No. We we just heard what was on that parchment. He said something five. Yeah, okay. Five to five. Five to five. Three yeah. are one. We've done the three are one. One gives access to the bladed sun. Doesn't say where the bladed sun goes, but you can see it. It goes right there. I mean, I I'll know, save and try it. I mean, the fifth one also looks like it could fit it, but let's well, save. Well, the fifth we one is what the original bladed sun looked like. Yeah, see, it fits. It snaps. You set the bladed sun into the stone finger, and it fits perfectly. Hmm. And then we use the horn. Oh, I passed by the horn. There it is. You confidently place the horn to your lips and blow. A single discordant note sounds echoing through the chamber. And you die! Well, bladed sun set within the finger glows angry red. You can't help but think that something is wrong. Without warning, searing flames through your eye. Whoops, dead wrong. Yeah. What? That was the right place! What a pity that you have failed in your grand... Oh, shut up, staff! <laughs> Rip. That was right! That was right! I refuse to believe otherwise. That was correct. So, okay, this, the pinky, has something that kind of looks like it. I don't think it's the right-hand side. I mean, it, so does the thumb. It, but... it, it absolutely does not look like the number two or number four. Number four looks a little bit better, but number two looks... I'm going to try number one. Oh, did we? Yeah, we got the Staff of Ages. Okay, that looks like it fits a lot better. It fits perfectly. That's what it said last time. 
Uh huh. Do any of those others go in the slot? I, I... No. Okay, let's try it again. I'm confident this will work. What? Very death for you. Well. I'm so pissed off I mean, right now. It is a sad thing. Did they Did really you? want you to have to guess? There's surely there's a clue. Well, I mean, we got three more chances. All right, all right. Where would the clue be? <laughs> I don't know. I, I've looked through the literature before we jumped into this, right? No, no, no. It's a waste of time. Come on, we'll just trial and error until we... Don't deprive somebody else the chance of long pig. Nicely cooked, like, bacon... Just, I don't think this is going to be nicely cooked. This is going to be charred on the outside, bloody on the inside. Yeah, this really is totally raw. Um, try number five. We've tried one, three. See, it does actually fit that one really. Wait, what's this? There are six? Smash with these are bad by magic. By, okay, maybe not. But no, it's yeah. just another obelisk. That looks. It looks. All right. I will try number five. I got to choose the first two, so here we go. Yeah, it see that? It fits perfectly. It says it fits perfectly, but does it? Well, it fits perfectly in all of them. Here we go. <laughs> it's always the last one you pick. <laughs> do you have to do something with the staff before the horn? No, I don't think so. We're supposed to put the staff together, put the talisman in its place, wherever that is. I'm gonna and blow the horn. I gotta try something and it probably won't work and I'm okay with that. Okay, no, you can't do it there because it looks like there's a little hole yeah. right there. Okay, wait, so we... wait, wait. The tablet showed hand, bladed sun, and four lines. Oh my god. Oh my god. That's correct. So it's number four. But four from which direction? Or from which direction? <laughs> well, just bullshit. It's, it's got to be that one. Fuck it. Let's try it. I, I even said that there had to be a clue. <laughs> yeah, and we looked at it a couple of times. Four from the top. A single clear. Note. Hey, achievement, novice scholar. Yep. Oh, that's okay. Shouldn't it be Journeyman Scholar, though? That's a good point. The bladed sun answers the horn's call, illuminates the pulsating power grudgingly. With a grinding of ancient stone, the mouth of the Great Skull slides open, revealing a doorway. Congratulations, you have earned the Novice Scholar achievement. I guess we're gonna have to go. Um. Oh, good lord. The mammoth in the chamber shakes as you enter, nearly driving you to your knees. An awe-inspiring creature flashes with immense power rising from the glowing pit. Veins of energy from the pit are disappearing through rock walls and into the foundations of the world beyond. Oh, cutscene time. And so, young Jer, it begins. <laughs> At last, like a fool to folly, I led you thus. You brought me to that which I could not easily bring myself. Behold, the behemoth. He who has been here since the foundations of the world were laid. 
Within him is power immeasurable. Power that even the circle could not foresee. Witness now as I take this power. Witness the rise of Talimar the Black. Yeah, so he wasn't the uh, other guy. I mean, okay. Several entities coalesce from the pit surrounding the behemoth. The air crackles with gathering energy. All right. Quick save. Yep. So, hey. Um, I'll I, rub the Staff of Ages on the behemoth. I'm looking for some clues and I don't see any. Maybe yellow, since he's yellow? You level the Staff of Ages of the Entity, joined by the Essence of Lakmar. The surge of ancient power flows from your body and through the Staff of Beam of Kaleidoscopic Energy. Ooh. I did something. No, what have you done, fool? Better check up at it. Must be destroyed. You have brought desolation upon us. You have brought us to ruin. It looks like you're the one that's getting ruined there, Talamar. Ruin? I think not. You have done well, grandson. For the behemoth is neither good nor evil, but simply one who holds fast the fates of this world. Life, death, war, peace, sorrow, joy. These he disperses from the pit in careful measure. He has guarded these fates, and I, in turn, have guarded his power. Until now. Oh, now he's free. This power I pass unto you, and bestow upon your brow a new name. Lord Jair of the Westland. Forsake it not, and wield it well. For in you, oh, my the circle goodness. Good job, live on. Hey, golf clap, everyone. Oh, golf clap. I thought we still had a lot to do. Yeah, well, no. That, that, I'm still not sure what's up with the pumpkin patch. Yeah, that's it, man. Um, I'll tell you what. I could not have done this game by myself. Neither could I. Clearly, I needed to punch more things. Yeah, having more than one perspective <laughs> helps a ton. I wonder if the pumpkin patch is left over for the master difficulty. Yeah, it could be. I don't know if I want to play this under master difficulty now. I was um, going to do it I on say... my own, but you know what? Fuck it. <laughs> I mean... Look at what it said. It, 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 look what it said about the costume. You know, the blockhead thing and da da da. It, it might have just been, you know, a, a cute extra. It could have been. I mean, we still have a chance to try and figure it out, but I think we're missing a piece. This was cool. I'm glad I was able to do this. Yep. I wouldn't mind this part of the song continuing on for a while. Right. You know, there's an AI that can uh, do stuff with music like that, loop sections of the song. Mm, 
I think you would have to be a proper musician to uh, to do it well enough to make it worth listening to. I mean, I found the AI, it wasn't great, but it did an okay job. If you weren't looking for perfection, I could usually do a decent thing. Oh, hey! After I, uh, after I switched away from lemon juice, uh, my stomach's starting to clear up a little bit. That's good. Who knew? Who knew? Oh my god. <laughs> well, whatever else I can say about my life, I know I've seen everybody's name listed alphabetically by first name. Well. <laughs> so what would you do with Castle Shadowgate now that you own it? Um, well, it's going to need a polish for one damn thing. <laughs> yeah, we're going to have to get, you know, a couple of throw pillows, some paint, and a uh, crew of workers working for about some two months. Somehow, some asshole went and burned up all the rugs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And most of the banners. And just smashed mirrors left and right, except for these magical ones. What a dick. Mm. Yeah. Excuse me. That's a lot of backers. Uh, had I known that it was a, a thing being packed, I would have, I would have definitely thrown my name in the hat. This is like four or five years ago. Fuck me, yeah, I didn't like, know. It was five or so years ago. My brother ended up backing up. Well, shit. We could have looked for his name. What's his first name? David. David Harry, David Holman, David Jaffe, David Cassidy, no, David Lewis. <laughs> <laughs> that was going by fast, so if he's David, now he's gone. gone. <laughs> yeah, so he wasn't on the list. <laughs> Everybody try to guess Doomlet's real name. And so the castle is ours, in journeyman mode. For 40 years he has reigned. Jair, Lord of the Westland, the seed of prophecy. He who defeated Talamar the Black and kept the fates of the world secure in the behemoth's grip. Or so he thought. For from within the pit, strife had escaped. Unchecked, it moved throughout the Westland and its bordering ally, Cal Torlin. And it was there it sowed discord and discontent. And the eons old lasting peace between the two nations? Not but a fool's dream. Within Cal Torlin's capital city of Gwenynthel, the change is evident. The vast port city has slowly shuttered its doors. Its great docks no longer host to the tall sails of ships from faraway lands. Its bustling streets, once replete with merchants and wayfarers, now empty. Well, nearly so. For it is here we find a small thenling. Moving in plain sight, as they often do. Like Lord Jair, he goes by many names, albeit all of his own choosing. Although, if you were unfortunate enough to brush against him, you might give him another. Thief. Potato is a good name for a kitty, yes. And so, in a dark Gwynenthel, the next tale begins. Sequel bait. Not before a fabled door within yep. the Gatekeeper Mountain, nor within the depths where prophecy was fulfilled and evil overcome, nor in a great hall where honors are given and received. Rather, it begins here in the capital city when a Fenling is apprehended and delivered to the dungeons. The misunderstood pilferer. Dell Cottonwood.
Ah, making this... an Elder Scrolls game where you start in a prison. So this is beyond Shadowgate. I had heard about it, and I think we even talked about it. Congratulations, you have beaten the Warlock Lord and saved the land of Cal Torlin. Kind of. Congratulations, you have earned the Hero Achievement. Congratulations, you have earned the Potato Achievement. No. Congratulations, you have earned the Commander Achievement. <laughs> you have defeated the Warlock and saved the land of Shadowgate. Shadowgate is not a land, it's a mountain. <laughs> Mountain count as land. Ish. What'd you guys think? That was good. Uh, several days in a row, <laughs> I was exhausted by this game. Well, it's over, that's, man. That's, or at least Journeyman <laughs> is. I don't know if it's a good idea to play through this on Master Mode, but... I mean, I had some fun. So... Let me do some fiddling real quick. I'm I'm doing this the rest of this on Twitch, so if you want to see the stream. But um let's look around a little bit. Um I have it under music. And under music I had it under God, there's a lot of shadows in my yeah. There we go. Don't know why it took so long to get that. So let's get the theme playing. That's for damn sure. We'll loop that. But also, I can go back to Shadowgate and go to artwork. And one of the and things they I'll have... They have a map oh, of the okay. land. And I just wanted to take a look at that. A big one. Ooh, here's a big map of the land. Hell yeah. So Shadowgate's way down here in Gatekeeper Mountain. And like this is detailed enough that I could run a D&D campaign on this. So they said Torolin was it? Talolin? What was the name? It's a port town, right? So it's gonna be near the sea. I don't see the town that they were talking about. There was a, a, a Shadowgate 64 trial of the four towers. Yeah, Shadowgate's kind of funky. Um, because uh, it's had its own games, right? I seriously could do a lot with this map. Although, it would take quite a bit to throw together a Shadowgate campaign, and would it really be that much different from the rest of D&D? Hmm. Well, with that, I'm going to stop the recording. The stream will continue on, but yeah, I think this is a good place to stop. Um, I guess say goodbye to YouTubes. Bye, YouTubes. And I believe a kitten named Potato has eaten Doom Lad, so I'll say goodbye for him. Goodbye, YouTubes. <laughs>